Hello everyone and thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time here, my name is Natalia and for today's video, we're going to be doing a declutter video. So this has been a video that I've been um, avoiding because it's going to take quite a long time to declutter all these. So these are going to be all my lip products. So here we have a mixture of lip liners, we have some lipsticks, lip uh, glosses, we have some liquid lipsticks and just everything kind of mixed in. These here and this one are my newer ones. And then the ones that are here and here are honestly mostly all going to be going just because I've had them for a very long time. So most of the time, I honestly don't wear a lot of like very bold lipsticks or anything like that. I'm usually wearing like lip glosses or like more like lip balmy kind of products. So a lot of these don't ever get used, which is why they've expired. I do have quite a lot of lip liners, which is something that I do like to use every once in a while. I'll put these like all over my lips and that'll be what is on my lips instead of just doing like lipstick. I really like that. And we have quite a few new ones in here that I will be keeping. So I want to reduce this to like less than half of what we have, which I think should be pretty easy. All right, so I'm gonna have like a yes and a no bin and then we'll go through them at the very end. So first one that I see here is this, uh, what brand is it? L'Oreal lipstick and it's the Balmain Paris whatever collection. This is the Fever. This was a really pretty lipstick and I think I got it on like some free deal or something like that but I mean like I said I don't wear a lot of lipsticks plus L'Oreal is not cruelty free and I've had this for way too long so we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that one all right so the next four are from Colourpop here we have Quickie, Appy, Ariel, and Belle. Ariel and Belle was a collaboration that they did with the Disney princesses so this one I will not be getting rid of there are the shades they're pretty similar they're both gonna be like more of a nude so this one here is Ariel and this is going to be Belle. Again, I probably won't be using these to be honest, but I have them for the sake of the collection because I love anything princess. These two we're going to for sure get rid of. So here we have Appy, which was a very popular shade for a while, but honestly, I think I probably never even used it. And then we have Quickie which is a very light orangey kind of shade. So we're gonna get rid of both of those. Then we have this one from Flower Beauty. This is their uh, Spiced Petal Cream Lipstick. This is a really pretty shade. I actually did it, we use this one quite a few times, but um, it is very old. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. This one is extremely old. I can't even tell you how old it is, but I did use this one quite a lot. This is from L'Oreal and it was one of their like glossy type of products. I don't know if you guys ever used these, but they were so, so pretty. I love the packaging. I feel like they were so nice, but you can no longer find these. And again, it's very old. Up next, we have this one from Essence. This is the matte, matte, matte in 01. Um, this one's super dried out and it's super old, but that's the shade right there. It was a really pretty like mauve type of shade. The packaging is really nice. These lipsticks are really pretty. I don't even know if they even sell them anymore, but we're going to get rid of that. I'm trying to move kind of fast because we have so many to go. This one here, I'm going to keep. This is the Clinique Matte Plum. This is extremely expired. I don't know if you guys will even be able to tell. It's so gross. I don't need to swatch it, but I'm going to keep it because this was one of my first uh, lipsticks that I bought that was more like expensive and I thought it was so cool. I love the packaging, the shade. I didn't realize I would never use, but I thought I would at the moment. And yeah, for memory's sake, I'm going to keep this. So this is from Revlon. It's another one of those like glossy type of things. These are so pretty. Again, I don't know if these are still available. Oh, they're no longer made but this was in their shine line and it's the nude illuminator if you don't buy cruelty free things i would highly recommend this one it's so comfortable these two were very similar to each other but actually is revlon i think revlon might be cruelty free now 
I don't know. I'm gonna have to look that up, but I'm gonna have to see if they still have these if they are. Next up, we have this one from Too Faced. This was one of their, I forget what they're called, like their natural line. And I had it in the shade Pout about it. And I don't think I reuse this one very much, but honestly, I'm pretty sure that it is expired. What does it say? 12 months. Yeah, I for sure have had this for 12 months, but these were so pretty and I don't think they're made anymore. But look how pretty that shade was. So pretty and I'm so sad because I'm gonna have to let it go. Next up we have this one from By Beauty, which no longer exists. This is their Amuse Rouge Lipstick and Meringue. And yeah, I've had this for also a very long time. As you guys can see, I have a thing for the same type of tone lipsticks. Um, so it's that one right there. Again, had it for way too long, getting rid of it. Next up, we have this one from Bare Minerals. This is their, what is this one called? I don't know. But I thought it was going to be a lot prettier than it was. This is in their shade Love. But it's like a really bright pink. And I don't ever wear that. Plus, it's also very old. Getting rid of it. Then we have this one from NARS. This is a mini, their lip pigment in Star Woman. I'm not going to swatch it because this stuff like splashes everywhere, but this was a really pretty red tone um, or blue tone red lipstick and it stayed on pretty well, but I've had it for way too long. Then here we have some Maybelline lipsticks. We have the Clay Crush and the Truffle Tees. I actually wore Truffle Tees quite a lot and I really liked the tone that it has. It's like a very cool tone like nude type of shade. I got it because March Beauty World would always talk about it. Samantha March. And then Clay Crush. Also a very pretty shade. Look at that. That's like a very pretty like fall shade. But again, these have been here for way too long. So getting rid of those. Then up next we have a few different ones from Urban Decay. So we're going to go ahead and swatch them. Uh, we have this cream one, the fuel shade. I got this because of Coffee Break with Danny, and I feel like they have like, I don't know if it's going to show it, but I don't know if you guys will be able to see. They're all like gunky now. This was, this was such a pretty shade to me, but again, let's say it together. Got to go. Then we have fuel 2.0, which is also a cream. I don't even know if these are made anymore. This was a lot prettier. I really liked the shade. I'm going to have to see. I'm going to set this aside just so I remember to look for it. Then we have Ex-Girlfriend, which was the sheer shimmer. And I think this one, yeah. Look at it. It just like fell out. I was so sad. And I don't even know if I even have it anymore. And then we have Liar, which is in cream. How pretty is that? Ooh, that's really nice. So I'm going to set this one aside as well. And then we have Back Talk, which is a comfort matte. This was a mini. And I think this one I barely used. This was more like a purpley type of shade. Getting rid of that. And then last but not least in that area, we have a mini Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. This is like very iconic. Everybody likes it. That's what it looks like right there. And I'm probably going to rebuy it at some point, but I got to let this one go. All right, next up are mostly going to be lip glosses here. And these are liquid lipsticks. So uh, Fenty Beauty lip gloss is very gross, very old. This is in their shade Fenty Glow. I've had this for way too long, so we're going to let that one go. Next up, we have this one from ColourPop. This is their Lux um, gloss, and I have it in the shade Come Through. Also very old, as you guys can see. So we're going to let that one go. Here we have another color pop. This is their Lux Lip Oil. And I have it in the shade Playa Vista. I don't know how long I've had this for, to be honest. But I mean, honestly, it's not nothing very special. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to let it go. This I know I've had for way too long. This is the Essence Water Kiss Glossy Lip Color. This was so pretty and I feel like when I found it, it got discontinued. 
It's like a really pretty, like almost like lip stain. It was very light on the lips. It looked really pretty, but it no longer exists. So can't get any more and it's too old. Here we have a, what is this? Pat McGrath um, lip gloss. It's actually a mini set that I got. I don't remember if it was like a holiday set or what, but as you guys can see, they're very, very old. I made a video on these. I got so many videos on that video. I actually never thought I would, but I really liked these. I thought they were so pretty. I used actually quite a lot. They were like my purse lip gloss, but I mean, if you go back to that video, it's probably like two, three years old. So yeah, it's time to let these go. All right, next up, we have quite a few of the Persona lip products. I have some mattes and some glosses. So let me go through the glosses first. Um, I think there's only one matte. So we have this one, which is hibiscus. So pretty, one of my favorite formulas for sure. So I'm gonna set this aside so I remember to buy another one. Then we have Honey. This one's so pretty as well. It's like a very light nude type of shade. But it's also very old. We have Toffee. This one's so pretty. It's like a brownie type of shade. How pretty is that? But also have to let it go. So I'm going to set it aside. And then Peach, which is a peachy shade. Also very light, very pretty, and yeah, so sad to let those go, but you know what, they're expired, but I'm definitely going to be repurchasing, so those are the four shades right there. Oh, here we have another Urban Decay. It ran off. This is in Ravenswood. It's their cream one. That one's really pretty as well, but gotta let that one go. And will not be repurchasing because I don't really wear those colors anymore. Next up, we have these ones from Ofra. And I believe these are lip glosses. Yeah, lip glosses in natural and cherry mocha. I don't actually like their lip glosses very much, their formula. And then we have natural, which is that one right there. There it goes. But I don't know. I just didn't really like the formula. I've had them for way too long. So I'm going to let those go. All right. Up next, we have a few from Dose of Colors. This used to be my favorite, favorite formula. And um, I can't say that they still are just because I feel like I like more thinner consistency lip glosses. And these are definitely more thick. So I don't think I would repurchase these just for that reason. But if you like more of a thick lip gloss, these are very, very pretty. They have a lot of nice shades. So I have, let's see, Messy Bun it used to be one of my favorite shades for sure. But all these I've had way too long, so we're going to get rid of all of them. Then we have Just Because. This was also a very pretty shade. We have... Don't be chai. This was more like a brownie type of tone. Also very pretty. Perfect for like winter or fall. Can you not? This one I didn't really like. It was very light on my lips. But, you know, if you have or you just like that type of lip, this would be a really pretty one. But for me, it ended up being too light. And it looked like I was wearing like concealer or something. And then we have On Repeat. This was also one of my favorites alongside the Messy Bun. Those two were definitely my favorite. Getting rid of all those. And then we have a few matte. This Ofra in Slush. Which again was not one of my favorites. I just don't like their lip products very much. I know a lot of people do. But I just wasn't really a big fan. I feel like they're a bit too thick for my liking. But the shades are really pretty. Getting rid of that one. Then we have um, Persona's Matte in OG. This was really pretty. A really pretty um, like fall or winter type of shade. Like a really pretty nude. So I'm definitely going to put this one aside so I can remember to repurchase it. Because um, it's also like a very thin formula and it's very comfortable to wear. And then we have the Always On Liquid Lipstick from Smashbox. 
this is like so old i'm not even gonna like swatch it, as you guys can see in the container i think i got this like in a free something i don't remember this used to be my favorite nude lipstick this was the lancome I don't know. I remember, I know you guys have seen these before, but they're the shaker something in completely nut. This was such a comfortable formula to wear and it has like that little thing that you just dip inside and then the product will be there. But it was so nice to wear, so comfortable, super thin formula and they discontinued them. So that was kind of a bummer. I've had this for way too long, so it's sad, but I gotta let it go. And then we have these, which are all liquid lipsticks from A Dose of Colors. We have Cork, um, Campfire. Campfire was one of my favorites, but look how nasty that looks in the bottle. Ooh. Yeah, I probably won't be swatching that. Um, then we have Brick, which was a really pretty red. Then we have, uh, what is this one? Flirty, which was I think like a light pinkish kind of color. And then Los Angeles, this was also very pretty and also very gross in the bottle. So all those have to go so that my lips don't fall off. All right, so let's move on to some that we're gonna be keeping for sure. The first one is this one from uh, In Beauty Project. This is their lip oil in Frosé. This is a really pretty gloss basically like clear but it has like a really pretty shimmer their dofo applicator is ginormous but i don't know if you guys will be able to see like the shift that it has so so pretty so definitely keeping this one because it is newer to me we have this one from nars this is in uh, i don't know i can't tell you because i can't see the shade but i'm definitely keeping this one i haven't had it for very long but it's like a Actually, you know what? I'm not going to keep it. I'm going to get rid of it. So getting rid of that one. Getting rid of this one too. This is the Maybelline Knit Lifter Gloss with Hyaluronic Acid. And it's in the shade Stone. I've heard a lot of people talk about how this one was a dupe for the Fenty Beauty. I don't know if I would agree. And I didn't really like the formula very much. So that's the shade right there. So you guys tell me. Do you guys think that's a good dupe? Should I keep it? Hmm, I'll put in the maybe. Up next, we have these two from ColourPop. This was the Tinkerbell collection, and I have them in the shade Tinkerbell, Tinkerbell and Clap If You Believe. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these. I haven't had them for way too long, for very long. But I think these are like the lip stains or something like that. Or maybe I have had it for way too long. Look at that. Ugh. Yeah, maybe I'll get rid of these. Okay, we're gonna get rid of them. Next up, we have this one from Wonder Beauty. This is a lip retreat oil, and I have it in the shade Excursion, but this is actually like a very deep shade, and it looks really pretty on the lips. So I'm um, definitely going to keep that one. Then next up, we have this one from Amicole. This is their, their gloss, and the shade is Amicole, I guess. Well, this is a really pretty shade like a brownie type of lip oil so i'm definitely keeping that one so these are new from wet and wild and it's the what shades are they their lip gloss in love language and nude mood and i think i'm gonna keep both of them so this is love language which is a really pretty pink i don't have a lot of glosses that look like that and then we have nude mood this one's almost like clear i mean you can barely see it but i'm gonna keep both of them the formula is pretty nice it's not my favorite but i think these are like 2.99 or something like that this one's one of my favorites i definitely need to get more shades it's the tower 28 um shine on a lip jelly in cashew so pretty i love this shade it's like a brownie I have a cat hair uh, brownie type of tone, and it's so pretty. Oh, we have another one from Persona. This is in Coral, and it's their gloss. This was so pretty. How pretty is that shade? Didn't really wear it a lot, though, but going to get rid of that. Um, we have a few from Elf Cosmetics, and this is their Seriously Satin Lipsticks. 
And I have it in nectar and taffy. So this is gonna be nectar, which is the really pretty nudie type of shade. Gonna keep that one. And then we have taffy. I'm gonna get rid of this one actually because it's more like a pink tone that I'll never wear. Then we have these two from L'Oreal, which I love so much. The Be Fiery and Be Powerful shades. And honestly, I've had these for quite a while and I should probably get rid of them. But it makes me sad because I really like them. See how pretty they are? These are supposed to be like a dupe for a, I think it's like a Lancome product, I believe. Um, and I would agree, they look very similar to each other. I don't have the Lancome, but I've seen like swatches and they look very similar. The packaging is even similar, but you know, I'm looking inside the container in there and how long do these last? Does it say, hmm, I don't know. We'll put in the maybe pile. Up oh, here we have another L'Oreal. This is in <clears throat> Be Uncontrollable. I think this is one of my most used ones. So we'll put that aside. Um, let's see, I know I have more than these, but they're older, so we're gonna try to not mix them. We have a few from Buxom, and I'm gonna have to make sure that I'm not mixing them, but I think these are the newer ones. We have, uh, so these are the full-on plumping lip creams, and I have it in Cur Royale, which is this really pretty like burgundy tone, Hot Toddy, which is a really pretty nude, and Moscow Mule, which is a really pretty brown. Um, I'll have to make sure that I didn't like just mix them because I think I had two Hot Toddies. So this should be the older one. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And then Rose Drill Lip. Yeah, this is the older one. You can even tell like in the packaging, it like separated. This is like a really pretty pink color. So getting rid of that and I'm gonna keep these three. These are so pretty, very up my alley. I love them so much. I love how they look on the lips. I feel like they add some plumping without hurting and the colors that I chose are really pretty too. These two are new to me, so I'm definitely keeping them. These are the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip and I have them in the shade Coconut and Strawberry. Coconut, it's more of a nude shade as you guys can see right there and then strawberry it's more like a red tone they're not my favorite formula i know a lot of people like these i feel like they're a bit thick on the lips so if you put too much they end up feeling like a bit goopy but they are really nice they're very hydrating so for that i am going to keep them and i would recommend them this one i have had for quite a while you so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it, but this is the e.l.f. Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss, and this was in their mint collection. This is so pretty. I love the tone. I'm gonna look to see if they still have it, because if they do, I might just repurchase a new one. But it's really pretty. The formula is a little bit thick, but I don't mind it. It's not like super sticky. Mm -hmm. 